So right now I am packing for a trip to Wetzlar, Germany, home of Leica. This will be my second trip there. And I'm packing right now and I'm not bringing that guy, I'm just bringing this guy. But I'm there as a special guest. They've called me a KOL, key opinion leader. I just consider myself a photographer, but whatever people want to call me, they can. No, that's not true. Anyway, I'm heading to Wetzlar, I'm packing up in Hanoi, Vietnam. I got all my gear here, video gear, photography gear, and I'm going there for the release of the Leica SL3, something I'm extremely excited about. I've known about it for a couple months. I'm going there before it's out, so this will be out after the camera's out, of course, because of the embargo. But I'm headed there, I'm gonna go for the launch party. Launch party, woo, 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 not like that. I'm excited to film the camera, show you guys the camera, and that's what this episode's gonna be. I'm gonna show you the Leica SL3. A camera I am very interested in because I recently invested in the Leica SL system, buying an SL2S for my video street photography and editorial photography, and I've been loving it. Just used it on an assignment for the New York Times, which may or may not be out by the time this is out, and I loved it. And I'll probably be investing in some Leica SL glass and, of course, my M series glass to go with it. And I still have my M10D, I still use that for a lot of my personal work and my assignment work and my street photography work. But anyway, packing now, getting out there tonight, late night flight, and off to Germany, and I'm gonna take you guys with me. So let's go, let's get out of here. What would you imagine a Leica hotel consists of? Where am I going? One. Excited to see what this hotel, how the design is. I'm expecting good things because like good design is beautiful. Nothing today on the docket, nothing like we have to do. Tomorrow's all the stuff, the big reveal, all the events. Um, I'm excited, but now I'm just walking around. I figured I'd take you guys on a little tour. You've got the like a like used shop back there, and that's the, it's also got the whole factory inside. We can see how the lenses are made and cleaned and repaired and all that good stuff if you're into that. There's also a lot of like the archive stuff, which is either, I think it's back in that building too. Oh, and then the new museum back there, and then like a store, and then like a hotel. Like a, 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 like a. Um, it's good to be back here. It's kind of like a little family. It's my second trip here. I came for the end of the year uh, celebration of photography, and it's like a, like it has this family, and it's cool for me because being sort of isolated in Hanoi, Vietnam, there's not a lot of like, like a photographers there, and not a lot of community stuff. So coming here and seeing the community. You know, YouTubers, photographers, photographers slash YouTubers, YouTubers slash photographers. Just ran into Hugh Brownstone and Claudia Brownstone. It was nice to see them. Really cool people. Anyway, the big reveal's tomorrow. I know it is, but um, kind of cool. I don't know all the features. So I, don't, I don't have that yet. Anyway, while I let this coffee percolate inside my veins, I'm going to wander into the Leica store. I'm going to shut up and go look at lenses. I'm trying not to buy shit. Here is the Leica SL3. What's in here? What a cool tote bag that Leica just gave to us. And the little design here, there's little icons on here, if you can see. This is all related to the new design of the interface, the revamped interface of the Leica SL3. So this was just given to all the people here for the product release event. Uh, it's now February right now, and I won't be able to talk about this for a little bit, but I'm talking about it now, or you're hearing me talk about it now. Anyway, this is a Leica SL3, uh, and I'm gonna go out and use it. Just just got it, like just now, Leica. They didn't give us the camera, they let us use it for a couple days here. I'm gonna go to a car museum, and then I think we'll be able to shoot. It is a beautiful camera, 60 megapixels, all sorts of new features. A couple quick things just to talk about right away is the new flip screen here. So if you like to shoot looking down, you can now, you don't have to bend down. I got a bad pack, it's very helpful. It's definitely a lighter weight. I'll give all the statistics on that as well. It's definitely smaller, so it's a lot easier to grip than the SL2 or the SL2S, which I own. It has a whole new user interface, a new little 
power button there rather than a switch. I'm not sure how I feel about that quite yet. Uh, a new dial here as well. A new Leica Photos app to go along with it. So there's a lot of new features here. It's really exciting. It's a camera that I could see myself owning. Uh, and then we're allowed to pick lenses. It's kind of interesting to see what everyone did. There's tons of photographers and YouTubers there and they just wheeled out like a bunch of these cameras. It was crazy to see. And then we all just had to like sign our name and we could take the cameras out. So you could choose between, uh, I think, a wide angle zoom, a 24 to 70, a 50, a fixed 50, and a 35. I almost went with the 35 because that's my go-to, but I want to be a little bit outside my comfort zone, so I chose the 50. Most people were choosing the 24 to 70. Not me. I'm going to zoom with my legs. Um, anyway, going to go out and test it right now and see what this bad boy can do. But first, just like ultimate first first impressions is it is a lot lighter than the last one. And so anyway, I'm gonna go take it out. We have to like hide it when we shoot. We're not supposed to like show it yet. It's not out yet. And I said, there's gonna be some people like maybe trying to spy on us. So not me. I don't like keeping my camera on my back. It belongs around my neck or in my hands. So I'll try my best. I hope no one spies. So anyway, first impressions gonna go out and shoot right now. Okay, my last day here with the Leica SL3. I'm in the lights park here. They have like a little forest little Leica forest where the trees grow Leicas and lenses. It's amazing. You just pick them off the trees. Oh, today, I don't know why, I just crack myself up sometimes. I don't even need you guys. I just laugh at myself. Um, and that it wasn't even that funny. But, okay, so I want to talk about just design today. I'll talk about all the other stuff in another video, but just design and user interface. So big change. This camera is a lot lighter and significantly smaller in your hands. Uh, you can feel it. First thing when you pick it up, if you pick it up next to an SL2, you'll notice it feels lighter. It feels easier to grip if you have smaller hands. I'd say I have like average size hands. I'm a larger guy. Um, so if you found the SL2 too big and too robust and too heavy, then you'll love this. If you found the SL2 perfect and you like that chunky, robust, substantial feel in your hand, you might not like this. I'm not going to say it feels flimsy like other cameras. It still has a real high quality build with nice materials. Um, but it feels smaller, it doesn't feel as big, it doesn't feel as chunky, it doesn't feel like have that solid feel, and, and I like that, so I like that about the SL2. So I, I would say, like, yeah, okay, like, I'm happy that it's lighter, but I still prefer the overall build, like, quality and feel in your hand of the SL2, but I think more people will like this better. <laughs> I just do, I just think I'm in the minority there. Um, and as far as the new dial, I dig that. The new uh, power button, I didn't think I would like that. It's like a press button. I like actual physical buttons, but I dig it. I like it. It works well. It works a lot better. Honestly, when I saw that, I was like, oh, I don't think I like that. But give it time, and, and, I, and I dig it. So I've been using it only for a couple days, but I like that. The new dial here, big bonus there, the extra dial there for ISO, or, you know, I think you can customize it, but I love that. I really like that feeling. Um... What else? The new flip screen? Good. Yeah, cool. I'm not a big flip screen guy, but I could see where it come in handy. I'm not going to use this camera for video quite often, but just for lower angle shots as an older guy with a bad back. Bravo. The biggest bonus for me, the biggest like thumbs up, two thumbs up, is the new user interface, the new Lycons. I love it. The new navigation system. I mean, the or already the last one was perfect. That's one of the things I love about Leica is their user interface, is their design. And the update with their new icons, a new layout and touchscreen. It just works better. They look better. It's spaced out better. Uh, the touch gestures are better. There's so much more there than there was before. So they've made a huge upgrade there and that's something I care about. I care a lot more about design aesthetic and user interface and experience than I do about like total image quality because I just think like a lot of cameras have great image quality. So I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. Um, what else? Other than that, it feels, you know, it just feels like a slightly smaller uh, SL2 <laughs> and slightly lighter and not as robust. Will I buy one? Probably. I think I would like having this for my commercial photography work, my hotel work, my lifestyle work, and, you know, just all my advertising work. I think it'd be nice to have the option for the sensor and then pair it with my SL2S. Have a nice kit there for L lenses, M lenses, and even a couple R lenses. I'm thinking about that macro lens. So... I'm, I'm stoked about this camera. I'll talk more about all the other stuff later on, but that's the stuff I'm excited about. The design, the great. I don't want to give it back, and I'll definitely be buying one soon.